The asphalt seemed endlessly dark as it stretched out beneath the headlights. I was just a normal guy named Bill, heading home after a long shift, feeling the familiar hum of the engine beneath me, the warm glow of the dashboard light soothing my tired eyes. The night was clear, stars punctuated the sky, and then, nothing. I woke up to the sterile scent of antiseptic and the blinding whiteness of hospital lights. My body was a map of pain, my mind foggy with drugs. The doctors, with their somber faces, told me about the accident. A drunk driver had swerved into my lane, my car was totaled. They explained, with clinical detachment, that to save my life, they had to make decisions, fast. Decisions that included the removal of my manly parts, which were irreparably damaged. In the haze of recovery, a choice was presented to me, transition fully into a woman, as the way forward in my physical healing. It wasn't just about survival anymore, it was about finding a way to live fully in a changed reality. After nights of soul-searching, I chose to embrace the new identity that life offered. Bill faded into the background, and Bella came into being. Transitioning was not just a medical process, it was a journey of self-discovery. Each day brought its own challenges and revelations. I learned the art of balancing in heels, the feel of pantyhose stretching smoothly over my legs, and the way skirts swished around my thighs. Dresses weren't just clothes, they were expressions of my new identity, each fabric, each pattern telling a story of who I was becoming. But being Bella wasn't just about the wardrobe changes. It was about seeing the world from an entirely different perspective. Some men no longer took me seriously, their dismissive glances and patronizing tones a stark contrast to my past experiences. It was infuriating and enlightening all at once. I also learned the subtle art of flirtation, a dance of looks and laughs that could open doors or glean favors, a skill I never knew as Bill. Through it all, I navigated the ups and downs of femininity, each experience layering onto my new identity. The world was both harsher and more beautiful through Bella's eyes. I learned the strength it took to be a woman, the resilience, the patience, the fierce joy of embracing one's full self. I won't say the journey was easy, or that I don't miss Bill sometimes. But Bella, she's a fighter, a survivor molded from the remnants of a past life and the hopeful blossoms of a new one. As I lace up my heels and straighten my skirt, I am reminded every day of who I am now, and of the endless possibilities that lie ahead. Not just because of what was lost, but because of what was found.